Hi everyone, it's Kun Hero again. Thank you for watching my channel. Today, I want to show you guys how to prepare Resinapa Sushi step by step. I hope you guys enjoy watching until the end of this video. So let's begin! Okay, so first thing you have to do is to cut off all the fins. Snapper's fins are very sharp, so you don't want to hurt your hands with them in later steps. I got stung by them many times before. Each time my fingers got swollen big time and it was quite painful for next few days. So please be extra careful with them. And next, you need a scale remover. When you remove scales, I recommend you to do it in a plastic bag because you don't want to scatter all the scales all over your kitchen. Make sure to clean around the cutter and the bottom part very well. Drop as many scales as possible in the back. And rinse off the rest. Next, let's cut off the head. You can feel the color bone right here. So put your knife right next to it. But don't cut straight down. It should be 45 degrees angle. And cut the halfway until you hit the spine. And flip it. Feel the color bone and put your knife right next to it and cut another halfway. And flip it one more time. Then let me cut the stomach open. And take out all the guts with your hands gently. Once everything is out of the stomach, cut the spine with the heel of your knife, like this. This way you can remove your head without damaging guts and you don't make much mess on the cutting board. And please keep the head always. Uh, maybe you can make a soup or you can grill it. Next, cut this membrane open. Now you can see a blood clot on spine. Cut this open too. And clean up inside the stomach with running water. And scrape off all the blood like this. After you're done washing, please wipe off the water very well. That keeps the fish from slipping on my cutting board when I fillet it. Uh, first, please cut only skin to make a guideline. It should be right above the fin. And go a little bit deeper. And deeper. Slide your knife along with bones. And once you reach the spine, lift the flesh a little bit and cut the top of the spine with the tip of your knife. Back side.
and the same thing on this side guideline first and please make sure your fish is sitting straight on the cutting board cut only skin for guideline and go a little bit deeper make sure you're feeling bones underneath your knife and the angle of my knife is a little bit downward now I reach the spine so let me lift the flesh a little bit and cut the top of the spine with the tip of my knife and next put your knife around the tail your knife is facing slightly downward and separate it then separate the tail as well okay first fillet is done it's beautiful let me flip it and let's finish another side guideline first and go deeper and deeper now lift the flesh a little bit and cut the top of the spine and make sure one more time perfect guideline and go deep a little bit deeper one more time now I reach to the spine so I cut above it slide your knife around the tail and go strong and separate the tail okay another fillet is done there's no meat left on the bone I think I did a good job and I always save bones to make fish broth and next step I'm cutting each fillet into two pieces you see the line in the middle you can cut it along with it some people tell you to cut a little bit off the line but I always tell first timers to cut on the line I believe it's easier and you get less risk of wasting meat Now you can feel some pin bones on the side of this piece. So please trim them carefully. And for this piece, let me remove the rib cage first. and you can keep this part for making a fish broth and check pin bones on this side too and trim them like this okay another fillet cut on the line in the middle and trim pin bones try not to waste meat
and the belly side. Remove rib cage first. Check pin bones and trim. Okay, that's it. And next, please place all the pieces nicely on a plate. And then, sprinkle salt just a little bit. And let's wait for 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Now they look like they are sweating a little bit. This is perfect. And take off moisture with paper towels. Please do not rinse off the salt. You don't feel it anymore. Next, I'm removing the skin. Uh, first, enter your knife from the end of the tail and hold the skin with your left hand and angle your knife slightly downward. So make sure the edge of your blade is always touching the skin. So this is the sound you are supposed to hear when you do this. Okay, let me flip it. Now you are supposed to see red flesh on this side. That means you didn't leave much flesh on the skin. And when I do this, I'm just using the middle of the blade. And I'm actually cutting when I'm pulling the knife toward me. Please watch it carefully. And the snapper skin is really thin, so when you do it, do it carefully and slowly. This is a perfect example. Beautiful. Looks great.
Now I'm slicing for sushi. Please make sure to put it skin side down. And always start from tail side. I'm slicing against the grain. Uh, each slice should be somewhere between 0.46 to 0.50 ounce. Use your knife big. From the heel of your knife to the tip of your knife. I'm making two pieces of nigiri with shiso leaf, so hide it underneath the fish. Put wasabi. Make an air hole, close the air hole, press it down, flip, press, 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 and press. First two pieces, I put pond sauce. And green onions. Lemon juice for these. Sprinkle sea salt. and put a little bit of yuzu paste. And finally, once with the shiso leaf, squeeze lemon juice. And sprinkle sea salt. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, if you like today's video, please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Now, I'll enjoy this myself. Oh my god, it's so good.